Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann and Aaron, and welcome to today's live call along. We are uh, here together on Wednesday, March 13th. Can you believe it's like halfway through March? As, as Alexandra says, hump day, right? Um, we're hump day and hump month, I guess, right? So we are coloring this morning, according to Paisley and Scarlett are in the background. Everyone's there saying hello. We're coloring today uh, with gel pens. I've got a variety of gel pens with me this morning. And we're coloring a, pay, a mandala. Paisley always knows when it's time to begin, right? She's always has a lot to say. I'm going to get them something so that they're quiet. But here's the page we're coloring uh, from Comforting Mandalas. It's okay to not be okay. This is from um, Color Along Volume 11. That's the work book we're working on. But this page can also be found in um, Comforting Mandalas Grief Healing Coloring Book. So a lot of people um, have commented about that book, how it's gotten them through uh, grief, the death of a loved one, or um, it's good for any type of um, whatever grieving process you're going through, whether it's for uh, losing a loved one or maybe uh, a breakup or, I don't know, any type of loss in your life. So it's kind of cool to um, color through that type of grief. So we're going to color this morning with uh, some gel pens. I've got uh, Gel Writer gel pens. I have Pentel Sparkle Pops. And I have this cool box of this these pens called... Who knew? I think it's kind of funny, the name anyway. Um, and, you know, they're not very expensive. They're on Amazon. I don't know exa the exact price, but they're actually kind of cool. It's 48 pack. They actually come with refills. So before I go get the dog a bone and get them to uh, settle down, let me just say good morning to everyone. Um, it's already here this morning with me, so thank you for joining me so far. Hey, good morning, Lisa Ackroyd. Good morning, Dawn. Alexandra Sullivan's joined us this morning. Good morning, Miss Lynn Miller. Hey, Karen, how's it going, my friend? Good morning, Bev Larson. Diana, good morning, good morning. Diana saying, excuse me a bit, I have to go print out a different page. Seems like I have the wrong one again. Oh, my goodness. So I know. You've got to change. Isn't it crazy what happens when you don't have your coffee in the morning? It's awful. Hey, good morning, Cheryl Waters and Bev Larson. Um, I think I said good morning to Bev Larson already. That's okay. Two times for you. Uh, Chris Costelli, good morning. So let me just get these guys something to uh, keep them busy. And we're going to get started in just a couple of minutes. Gel pens is on the agenda today. That's my coloring tool this morning. Good morning, Cindy. And... Um, just give me a couple of minutes. We're also going to look. Oh, I'm excited about this because we're also going to take a look at the Kindle version of my new book, uh, Colors Color Palettes, which is out. It has palettes and color families and all kinds of color charts that you can use not just to create, but you can use them. So hang on, hang on a second, my friend. Okay, the dogs are settled. They're kept busy. They have their coloring supplies. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, Alice. How are you, my friend? Um, so, wow, March 13th. Can you believe we're already on March 13th? Time flies. And let me tell you, this time change, I don't know about you, but um, it's making me sleep late. Anyone else having this problem with the time change? But this I need to adjust my adjust my area <laughs> adjust my chair and uh, we're gonna get started with this um, this coloring page that's what we're doing this morning before we do this though I really want to share with you um, my new book I have a new book out and it is not at all I want to talk about this for a few minutes and I'm gonna review it again uh, towards the end of the color along but I'm so excited about this book and um, I'm really excited too because this book is actually a number one new release on Amazon in not just one category but I think there's like three right now I just cannot even believe it I've never had a book um, become a number one new release in multiple categories before um and the other thing is that I've never had a um a Kindle book before so yeah the time change does suck doesn't it that's a good way of putting it exactly Chris 
Um, so these color palettes, I've changed my cover a little bit. So if you've already purchased this book, this is my new cover. Um, just changed it a little bit because Amazon had done something different with my cover and I didn't really like it. Uh, but this book is called Colorist Color Palettes, uh, a reference guide uh, to choosing your, to picking colors for uh, your coloring pages. Thank you, Karen. Karen is saying your new book is genius. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. Here's what the, what the thing is with this book. You know, a lot of people use those color palettes and you can see up in the left hand side of the screen, there's three examples of different color palettes. And a lot of people use color palettes like this. Uh, many different companies come out with them. One of them that comes to mind immediately is Seeds of Change. And you can go on Pinterest and you can uh, take a look at different color palettes where there's a stock photo. Now think about that, it's, a, it's stock photography. And then it's got four or five colors that have been picked out of that uh, that image. And it's to show you what colors actually go together and what colors look like they belong together. Um, this way you can kind of get an idea and use it as a reference while you're coloring. Hey, maybe I should use burgundy and cream and green and that salmon color pink that's over there with that field of lilacs painting that's in the uh, left-hand corner of your screen. What's different about this book is that all of the color palettes that are in this book, and there are 30 of them, are from my own paintings or a finished coloring page. So th there is no stock photography in this book at all. The Kindle version is only $4.99 on Amazon. And I'm gonna tell you, if you go to Amazon and you go to that, um, a few people have told me that they've gone to look at the listing on Amazon for the Kindle version for $4.99. And all of a sudden, something popped up on the screen from Amazon and Amazon gave them a um, $5 credit. And they were able to use it to purchase this book for four, and they basically got it for free. Um, it's also available as a paperback version for $15.99. Um, Dawn is saying, I already have the book and will be using it on my next coloring or painting. Dawn, thank you so much for purchasing that. And if you bought the book, um, please go back to Amazon and leave a review. That's really important. Um, I just, I mean, I know that some people don't like to leave reviews. I know that sometimes Amazon gives people a hard time about leaving reviews. Um, but they really, really make a difference. So there's 30 color palettes. Cheryl's asking a question. Can you put it on iBooks for Apple users? Hmm. I don't know, Cheryl. I'm going to find out, though. I will find out. I'm going to put that in my uh, notes here. iBooks for Apple users. I will, I will look into that, and I will let you know. Um, so it's there for a Kindle version. The other thing, though, too, Cheryl, I don't know if this helps you, is that it's also on my website as a PDF version. So if you wanted to purchase the PDF version, you could also do that. PDF version is still $4.99. Uh, Dawn is saying um, that you could, tell Cheryl, you could probably still use the Amazon app, Kindle app, on an iPad. I did it on my Samsung tablet, but have not done it on my iPad. Um, I have Kindle on my iPad, and that's what we're going to look at this morning. So let me just flip over here. Uh, because there's not only is 30 color palettes, but there's also 56 color schemes um, throughout this uh, book. And I'm going to just kind of move this over a little bit and see if we can flip through um, what we've got here. I have it on my, I've got to get rid of this light. I have it on my iPad right here. And let's take a look at it. I can't decide what format I want it in. Hey, if you can't decide what format you want, here's something that's kind of cool about this book, is that if you purchase the hard copy for $15.99, you will have the option to purchase the Kindle version for $1.99, so you could have both. So that's for people who cannot decide. Um, I was able to uh, opt into that, um, that opt into doing that when I set the book up on Amazon. So you could purchase the paperback version for $15.99, and then if, because you purchased the paperback version, you will also be able to purchase the Kindle version for only one dollar and ninety nine cents, so then you would have two. So that um, that is in that's in that. So let's take a look. So this is my cover. I did change my cover a little bit to match that green cover. I didn't like what Amazon was doing with my other cover, and in a reference guide to picking colors for your coloring pages. But it goes beyond coloring pages. You can actually um, pick use this book for matching your clothes, possibly right, or decorating your home. Uh, 30 color palettes, 56, um, can I make this bigger? 56, can't make this bigger. Why not? Maybe I need to press on the, no? 
Oh, I guess not. Okay. 56 color schemes. It has a color wheel, warm and cool colors chart. It has a primary color colors chart, a secondary colors color chart, and it also has complementary colors chart and a Nagalus color chart. So um, we can take a look. It's got a color wheel in it. The color wheel is right here. Um, kind of focuses on just kind of where the colors sit on that color wheel for you and exactly where they need to kind of go on the color wheel. Um, and you can kind of use this as a reference guide when we talk about uh, primary colors. We're talking about red, yellow, and blue. When we talk about secondary colors. We're talking about orange, green, and purple. And those are the colors that are made up and it has a description at the bottom. Then if we go to, get rid of that. Color wheel like this, just a very generic color wheel. You can just kind of see all the colors kind of mushed together. Uh, basic color schemes. Hey, I'm going to just um, flip this around, actually. Let me flip this around so we can look at it in a better way here. Are we flipping? We're flipping. We're flipping. Um, here's basic color schemes. And it just has some primary colors, secondary colors, warm colors, cool colors, complementary colors complementary colors are the opposite the anagalus colors i call them the neighbors who's neighboring your color who's next to who's next to who um and so those so it has this chart in it then it has color schemes and as you go through this it has these circle these pages there's 56 of these circles that are here um divided up into pie charts if you will and they have six colors each on each one Kind of a color scheme together. Look at this group. There's all, or you could call them color families. Um, so this is what's part of this book. This book also. So this is a Kindle version, only four dollars and ninety nine cents, or the paperback version is only fifteen ninety nine. Which, to be honest with you, I really thought that when I was going to do the paperback version, that um, I was going to actually have to retail it for like thirty bucks. So I was really hesitant about it. I played around with it for a while. And when I got to the pricing, I couldn't even believe that I was actually able to retail it uh, for $15.99 without only making 25 cents on this book. So I was really, really happy about this. So I'm just so excited about this book because uh, my print version is on the way. It's being shipped as we speak. So when I have that printed version, I'm definitely going to flip through it. And I just can't wait to uh, see that book. So Dawn, which one do you have? Do you have the Kindle version or do you have the paperback version? Um, I just can't even believe the um, feedback that I'm getting from this uh, this book. Here are the color palettes that we go on to the color packs. There's, there's 30 of them for these color palettes. You know, these color palettes started out with um, the coloring membership that I have for $5 a month. In addition to coloring pages, you also get color palettes every month. And I have never, ever released these color palettes. So I decided to take these color palettes and then add more of them and create more of them from my own finished coloring pages like this one, which is a wood grain one. We're doing wood grain in Color Along Volume 12, by the way. And um, create these color palettes from these finished pages or some of my finished paintings and create so there's 30 of them all together. So if you're part of my coloring membership, you have seen some of these. Oh, good, Dawn. Okay. You know, I can't wait to see the paperback version. Um, I'm just so excited to see the paperback version because it'll have my paintings in it like this. And it's just truly is and honestly is a reference guide. And you're thinking, uh, I mean, you could use it for home decorating. Hey, maybe I want to put uh, a green couch with blue walls or blue walls with a green couch. And I'm not really sure how that's going to look um, together. Maybe um, I want to go with the gray version of everything and go with some neutral colors. So that's why that palette is there. And then it just continues on with these paintings. So I'm just so excited about it. Have I said that I'm excited about it? This is so exciting. Um, I just can't wait to see the actual pages that are printed. Here's a coloring page that's from a dog's view. I'm sorry, a bug's view. Here's a page from the Lazy Waves cover. This painting um, can also be purchased on one of my uh, journals. So um, that's the that's my book. That's my exciting news today about this colorist palette color book. Paisley is beside herself be, about the whole thing. She gave me just like, you know, the two paws up over it. So I'm really excited about it. Just really excited. I'm just going to keep saying that all day long, right? Just keep saying that about everything that you do today. I'm just really excited about it. Okay. So anyway, who feels like hearing me say that anymore? But, and then it's from, from, from Cat Angels and Dog Angels, uh, the Still Life Illustration book. And this is the last one in the book. Um, and that's about it. So that is my, my color palette book. So I'm really happy to share that with you. 
and um, I hope you have a chance to check it out. Do you want to say that would work good on when it comes to repainting my house? Yeah, you never know what um, colors to choose, right? How do you know what to what to choose? Maybe you want to buy a new wardrobe. Hey, I'm gonna get Paisley to be quiet, and then we're gonna get started on these uh, on this coloring page. Any questions about that color palette book? Any questions about that color, uh, color palette book, just be, feel free to let me know. Um, but we're going to get started on this page and turn my light back on. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie says, I'm excited for you. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate it. Sarah saying, listening on the way to the doctor because I thought having heart attack on money would only ask. Oh, good God. Sarah, I hope you're okay. I'm glad you're okay, actually. Uh, you're the second person that's told me something about that. You know? Scary, scary stuff. I'm going to start with purple. As soon as I can get rid of the hiccups. And I don't know where I'm going to begin on this page. I guess I'll begin with these. And this is a purple uh, glitter gel pen that is from this Who Knew pack. Um, you know, Monday's coloring along. I was so disappointed in the outcome of my finished page. Do you ever color something and you just think to yourself, man, that just looks horrible. What have I done? I felt like that on Monday. I felt like, man, I made a mess of this page. But I thought it was fun um, to just kind of experiment. And don't you hate when the pen gets stuck? There we go. There's the ink. It's flowing now. So coloring camp's coming up, right? Coloring camp's coming up. Apparently I can't count. And I thought it was 90 days. I don't know what happened to me. I think it was a typo, to be honest with you. I mean, come on. How could my math actually be that bad? Um, so we've got coloring camp coming up. I'm happy about that. And coloring camp um, is April 28th. So many people, I think we have like seven or eight people that have already signed up for coloring camp. Color along volume, volume 12 begins on May 13th. So we've got an exciting... Um, few months ahead of us and everyone always says to me that a couple of people asked me today actually are you working on any new books you know what I'm not working on a new book right now because I was uh trying to finish up the color palette book got that out and then the other thing that I'm the project that I'm working on right now is I am working on um updating my book descriptions on Amazon so that they look a little more professional and look a little more I don't know, legit, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to update my descriptions on my website. So that's kind of been a, a copy and paste type project. And um, our friend Martha Carter, colorist and friend, has been helping me out actually gathering some links um, for uh, the spreadsheet that I've been working on. So Martha has been uh, so, so helpful. I mean, helpful, helpful, helpful is unbelievable. Hey, feel free to share this um, this color along on a group or on your own Facebook page. That would be awesome. So I'm going to move, move on to another color. This set of pens um, comes in this little box like this. I don't know what happened to my box, but it got caught somewhere in a drawer. But then they're all kind of together on this like little uh, piece of plastic. Hey, it's the little things in life that make you happy, right? I think it's very organized and it's adorable. And it's a neat way to keep your pens. Because sometimes it's like everything just gets everywhere. And you're thinking to you, I don't know about you, but it happens to me. I don't like my pens to be messy. Does anybody else feel like that? They want everything to be nice and neat? And I don't keep all of my coloring supplies out. I keep them in a, I have a huge um like a five drawer file cabinet and i keep them all in that in the drawers of that cabinet so i know a lot of people walk into their studio and they're like hit right away with all of their coloring supplies and i don't do that i just feel like it's just a little too overwhelming to do that and it's kind of like a surprise every time i open the drawer to kind of look for stuff You don't think legit is an accurate description? Somebody told me that they look more legit. I don't know. I guess that wasn't a good way of... I guess that was an insulting comment. I think that 
they look, um, I think that they look way better. I don't know how else to describe how much better they look, but if you have not checked out uh, some of the way the descriptions look um, on my books on Amazon, uh, check out Dog Angels Coloring Book for All because Dog Angels is definitely one that's been updated. Comforting Mandalas has been updated too. Um, definitely, definitely uh, a big difference. Well, don't you think Lisa? Lisa saw them, Alexandria saw them, and I know you guys both told me that they made a huge, it made a huge difference on how it looked. It's just such a, like, uh, mind-numbing, monotonous little project, though. It's just a lot of copy and paste. Copy and paste with, like, three or four different, um, three or four different windows open. You know, I don't know. You kind of got to get into a rhythm of whatever you're doing. And I've been listening to, um... I don't even know what I've been listening to. Some sort of music that I didn't even realize that I liked. I don't even know what it was. Um, I don't even know who it was, but some band, something had popped up in my feed and I was listening to that. I'm just gonna color this section pink. Jamie's saying, I have OCD so bad, I have a cabinet. I keep my coloring stuff organized. Sometimes I buy stuff I forget I have when I open the drawer. Yeah, exactly. I get you. I can relate to that, Jamie. It's like you open the door and it's like, drawer and it's like, oh, wow, I had that. I didn't know I had that. It's like, oh, new stuff. That's what it's kind of like. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa says she loves the new descriptions. I think they look awesome. Uh, Dawn is saying, I keep most of my coloring supplies out, but a lot are put away. Also, I have so many supplies. I have a lot of stuff, too, but I don't like it all to be out and about and, and like everywhere, all over the place. Is something wrong with me that I don't like that? I don't know. I've got some gel writer pens also in my stash. And I kind of like this green color. Let's see what this looks like. Um, maybe it's too light. Might be a little bit too light for what I'm looking for. This one's yellowish. Boy, these pens are just stuck. Stuck, stuck. Maybe I'll have to stick with who knew. I'm going to add some yellow. This is a good one. A good yellow. I don't like when the gel pens get stuck. How about you? Put some gel pen, uh, some yellow in here. This book is kind of cool because it's got these just simple style uh, mandalas. I mean, I guess they're simple. Intermediate? Maybe this would be like the medium skill level. I'm not really sure. Hello, Miss Melody. Melody says, a stray puppy came to our house and I found a home for it. So I'm driving on my way to meet my friend. I saw that little puppy, Melody, and I actually said to myself, how could I get that little guy? I'll have to come and visit Melody and go pick that little guy up. And then I thought to myself, I, I, I can't have another dog. What am I thinking? Scarlett and Paisley have told me that they just like the way everything is right now. They're not really interested in having a new dog friend. Um... Dawn says, I have certain sections for each supply. One spot for gel pens, one, then pencils, then markers, then paints and clay. And my books are one spot also. I We need to visit your studio. <clears throat> All right, Jamie's giving me a tip about these gel pens. I know this sounds weird, but if you smack them on the palm of your hand, on the tip, face down, it gets them going. Really? Paisley should not lick the stock pens. We don't want her touching my coloring supplies. That would be terrible. Wouldn't it? It would be just just darn awful. Uh, here's a Pentel Sparkle Pop. You know, I really like these pens because of the barrel of the pen. And they have that little grip thing. Boy, whoever designed this pen must have had hand issues. Don't you think? I'm going to add some pink to this. Um, where, I say, right? Let's go with this one. Oh, look at that. Look how much that pops. It's so pretty. What's the matter with you, Scarlet? Is your gel pen stuck too? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put these little lines here because I want to make sure that... I just feel like I just kind of... Look at that. The whole thing is just kind of like intertwined, isn't it? 
I feel like I just can't get my head around where these where the color needs to go. See, it happens to the best of us. Like, what the heck, man? I don't know. I, I may have I may have screwed. I may have made a mistake here. I don't know what's happening here. Isn't this a, an illusion or what? All right, we gotta get Scarlett something here. Let me help Scarlett. Hey, Bonnie Miller. Dawn says tap them twice on the tip, and the flow starts to show. Oh, cool. All right, don't type any more, Melody. Make sure you drive safe. Have you ever watched somebody uh, doing a uh, Facebook Live video while they're driving? There's somebody that I watch that... Actually, I try not to watch her anymore because it bothers me. She's actually driving her car while she's doing a Facebook Live video. Does anybody else think that's dangerous or just is it just me? She's got the camera pointed to her while she's driving. And you know, so many times I wanted to say to her, but I th think that would be me being really a jerk. I want to say to her, you know... I really like listening to what you have to say, but I don't like watching you do this while you're driving a car. And she even comments on the comments. So she must be looking at them. How are you feeling, Bonnie? Bonnie's been under the weather. And talk about weather. What's happening with that big storm that's coming to the middle part of the country? Who was in that area? Um, I think there's people here that are watching this morning that are in that area. All right, so there we go with that pink color. I kind of like it with the, you know, my friend orange. My friend orange. Uh, what other color should we add to this? I think we need to, need to add some blue. Yeah, not too bright, Chris. I agree. You know, this does not look at all like it should. So you're saying tap it in the palm of my hand. Oh my God, it worked. This is kind of like an iridescent color. I don't like it. <laughs> I can't like it. Can't like it. Yeah, that girl needs to stop um, driving and um, and going live on Facebook. I don't think it's a good idea at all. I don't know why anyone would think that was a smart thing to do. All right, so here is the blue. I have to concentrate, try to figure out where these colors go. Don't want to have to use my brain. I thought my brain had the day off today. It's still not right the way I put those colors down. Isn't that crazy? But I'm gonna leave it like that because why not? And I'm gonna go with a lighter blue around there. And I like this light blue that's part of my gel pack. Um, I think the storm is coming. Um, it's good to hear that you are recovering, Bonnie. Um, I thought that I heard the storm was kind of heading like the Midwest. I don't know. Jamie's in Ohio. What do you think? Illinois, is it hitting you, Chris? Here's a light blue that I'm going to add here. Kind of got to stick with this color scheme, don't you think? Sometimes when you're coloring, the plan goes out the window, doesn't it? Like I just realized the other day after I finished the coloring along on Monday that Monday's coloring was supposed to be all about using just five colors. Well, I have to tell you, I used way more than just five colors because we were playing with uh, Crayola Super Tips and water and using uh, gel pens and it just kind of like took, it just had a mind of its own. It kind of like just took on its own, a life of its own. 
We were having warmer weather for a few days, then back to the same old stuff. Oh, I can't stand it anymore, Dawn. Let me tell you. I'm tired of it. It was very cold yesterday. Wasn't the, the temperature that I wanted it to be. I don't really know what that temperature is. <laughs> what is the temperature that we want it to be? Do we like when it's 30? No. Do we like when it's 60? Maybe, if it's not too humid. Do we like when it's 90? Not so much. I don't know. This one kind of looks like the shape that I'm looking for in that section is just kind of, I don't know, going away, I guess. All right, let's add some of this Pentel Sparkle Pop orange um, in this one, this section here. As this comes down, this kind of reminds me of like some sort of an arch. And then maybe if I really had my act together and I could really pay attention to what I'm doing, I could actually do every other to create a pattern. Let's see if I can do that. Giving my brain a workout today. So what else is new in the coloring book world? Hey, we're just getting bad thunderstorms, Jamie's saying, and wind and possible tornado. Oh, that's all, just wind, thunderstorm, possible tornado. Anything else you wanna throw in there, Jamie? And then it's going to be 55 degrees, spring is finally here, seven degrees tomorrow. Is, when is spring? Is spring, um, I don't know, spring is next week, right? Didn't think we'd ever get to spring. I was watching um, a video with Dia Lenahan this morning. She was on uh, YouTube, I believe, and she has a giveaway for some uh, interesting pencils. I forget the name of them, of course. I cannot remember the name of the pencils. There was some name that I had never, ever heard of, um, so I don't even remember what the heck the name was. I'm going to add some pink next to this to kind of make my eye go out to the, uh, to the outer portion here. So this page, just like all the other pages in uh, Comforting Mandala's Grief Healing Coloring Book, has different fr comforting phrases. And uh, this one can be applied to really kind of anything about life. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not beat yourself up one day and kind of have a bad day. And I don't know. I mean, you don't want to like dwell on it or, or mope around, but it's okay. You don't have to beat yourself up. You could, it's okay to take care of yourself. What do you think? Do you agree with that? When is the full moon? Hey, Savannah. When is the full moon, Chris? I never sleep when there's a full moon. It's always a difficult time sleeping. like concentrating on this one I couldn't even talk in color at the same time yeah full moon full moon oh I don't know let's add some silver purple blue silver gold um I think I'm going to add the silver from my um Pentel sparkle pops I think I'll add the silver um let's add the silver in the middle because why not so when you're coloring with gel pens, short strokes. Gel pens are not my absolute fave. My, I think my favorite would be um, pencils, chalk pastels, and oil pastels. Do you guys have favorites of what favorite things to color with? What are your faves? Does, is anyone a uh, gel pen fanatic? All 
All right, so there's my silver there. And then I'm gonna pop some silver in these little like in-betweens right here. To just kind of make it, I don't know. Seems like it needed it. No reason, right? We don't have to have a reason. And then I'm gonna put it in this section too, this little thing that's sticking up. Uh, here's another one. Another one, another one. Uh, let's make this one. I don't know what these little doodads are, but let's do those also. Markers and gel pens is Lisa's favorite, and pencils and alcohol markers are Jamie's. Savannah says markers and gels. I've never tried uh, alcohol markers. Do they have an odor? I don't know why I've never tried them. Barbara's always, um, all the kooks and the crazy around the full moons. No kidding, Jamie. All right, what other color should I pop into here? I'm thinking I want to put some green. Um... But I don't want it to look too Christmas green, so let's go with this Pentel Sparkle Pop because that is not Christmas green at all. Okay, and then I've got this section here. You know, I'm listening in the quiet here to my furnace running and thinking to myself, it doesn't really sound too good. He was making a very strange noise. Do you ever just all of a sudden like fixate on a noise? I'm kind of disappointed in this pen because I don't like that it's a surprise color from the green from the green cap or what the pen says on the outside. The pen says the color that is indicated on the outside of this pen. I don't really think that it's a very good representation of exactly what is on in this pen. This is totally different. Too much of a surprise. We talked about this the other day about how some of us just do, do not like to be surprised. Hey, Dawn Boyer. How some of us just do not like to be surprised. All right, there's my green. Do you like to be surprised by the colors? Uh, have an odor, but once you get used to it, it's not too bad. Our furnace broke. We have to get a pot. It's $136. Thank, it, it's not, thank God it's not too awfully cold. I know it's really not fun when your furnace breaks down, isn't it? I don't, I'm just kind of making a weird noise. Maybe I'm just kind of, uh, maybe it's just in my head. I am going to leave some white in this because I do want some white, but I really feel like it needs yellow because I have some yellow there, but we need more. So let's pop some yellow in these little spots here. I have to go just pop my head um, and listen to see, and just give it my furnace a listen. Hang on a second, you guys. It's making me a little nervous. Well, it sounds 
like everything's okay, so we shall see. Thank you, Chris. Do you think it's looking okay? I'm kind of like, do you, you ever get to the point where you're coloring or something and you're kind of thinking, I'm not sure if I like how this looks. But I'm going to add some yellow in these sections here. And then my plan is to leave uh, the background white. Um, I think that these pages from this book would look great framed. Framed is a gift for someone. Um, maybe this is a nice gift to give to somebody who maybe feels like they're kind of beating themselves up over everything, you know? And then I've got um, all this section here and this section here. This one right here. And then I think I'm going to put some blue in that background color. But maybe a little bit of a darker blue. Let's see what I have for blue. Oh, this is pretty. Let's see if we have this one. Nope, I don't like that one. Being very particular with my colors today. Um... What's nice about this uh, set, this Who Knew one, is that they are, um, they have refills. You know the feeling, Barb? Yeah, isn't it crazy? Oh, I hate when that happens, Jamie. Jamie's saying the light bulbs in her house all decided they needed to be changed at the same time. I, that's happened to me. Hey, it's better than them all going out like every week, right? At least you got the job done all at once. I don't think that light bulbs last as long as they used to. There's my blue. And then for this outer, uh, kind of like twist and turns, outer braid type thing, I think I'll pull some pink back in over there just to kind of get my eye to go to the outer portion. But this is certainly one of those pages where you could definitely uh, kind of lose yourself in it. And I don't know, just kind of color away and stop thinking about what ails you and stop thinking about what's bugging you. And and actually, when you get to that point, you just stop thinking about all that. Sometimes the answer just kind of comes, doesn't it? Doesn't it, the answer just kind of falls into place? So it's almost like it's a form of prayer. So here is my uh, pink kind of twisted braid that I'm popping in here. I need to pivot my page a little bit. Come around the side. So next week's color along on the 18th is going to be cool. It's going to be all about um, Andy Warhol. So I'm excited about that. I think excited is my word today. I don't know. Isn't it better than me saying, so I'm really miserable about that. No, I'm just excited about that color along. And for those of you that own the color along volume 11 book, you'll be getting the um, PDF packet mailed to you by Friday. Now, seems like this twist and turn kind of worked out a little bit better than the other one that was in the middle where I was having issues. And then let's pull in, um, I guess this orange color again, right? <clears throat> Anyone have Jigs dinner this weekend? I don't know what that means. What? Hey, hey, Bonnie Hughes, thank you. Lynn's laughing at my humor. Lynn, I'll tell you, you posted that thing about uh, those friends bloopers this morning. I cracked up laughing out loud. That Those bloopers are hysterical. Maybe it's just because I watch friends almost every single day. I was watching friends last night, actually. And it's like I kind of already know, like, right, I know the episode so well. 
Anybody watching anything good on Netflix lately? I've been watching um, Rectify. Um, actually, it's pretty good. Holds my attention. Weird at some point. Some of them is a little weird. But it's a pretty good story. I had to give up on Northern Rescue. I was watching Northern Rescue, and then I got to this episode with a hurt bear. Lisa, have you finished watching Northern Rescue yet? Oh, St. Patrick's. Anyone have Jig's dinner this weekend? St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, does anyone have plans for St. Patrick's Day this weekend? I can't believe it's already St. Patrick's Day. In my area, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated as much as... Um, actually, St. Joseph's Day is celebrated as much as St. Patrick's Day. So it's a pretty big deal for St. Joseph's Day, which is on the 19th. Uh, I watch Friends every night, set sleep timer for an hour, and laugh into my pillow. I watch it every night too, Lynn. Either I watch that or I watch Frasier every night. And I fall asleep laughing and cracking up. But it's so funny because the other night I was watching, um, I don't remember what I was watching. I think it was Frasier. It was Frasier. And I was laughing so hard that I had to get up and just kind of like, I don't know, walk around and compose myself because... I was like, I, I laughed my, I laughed so hard that I pretty much like, I was no longer tired anymore. I was like, this is crazy. I'm cracking up laughing. And sometimes Scarlett does not like when I'm laughing like that. She um, gets a little concerned. The bear episode was sad, wasn't it? I know. I have to skip past it. I don't want to watch that. So that's why I think I only have two episodes left after that, Lynn. Have you seen Rectify yet? I'm coloring on a postcard with the gel pens, Karen is saying. I'll post the finish when I'm finished when I'm finished. I'm using glazed gel pens. Oh, definitely post that. Can't wait to see that. You know, somebody, so many people color and they don't post. Justified on Amazon. What is that about, Chris? Oh, you know what I started watching last night um, on Amazon? Middle March. Has anyone seen that? It put me to sleep. It's kind of like a Downton Abbey style, uh, you know, one of those period pieces. Sometimes I think I should I should have lived during those times. The only part I think I might have missed was the sh was uh, running water. I don't know if I would have liked that. Having to go like, you know, to the outhouse. I don't think I would have liked that. But then again, if that's all I knew, then maybe it would be okay. Like, look at that show, um, Alaska, Last Frontier. I mean, those people, that's current day, right? Present day. Has anyone watched that show? And they use an outhouse because they think it's better than having a bathroom inside your house. So, I don't know. I still don't think I would like it. To concentrate on where to put this pink and then i have this outer portion right and the outer portion hey i'm thinking dots i don't know but i'm thinking dots and i actually think i'm going to combine maybe some blue and purple boy this pink this is my favorite color i've decided this particular pen the ink is really flowing here's my last section here Karen say my mom was so proud that my dad passed on St. Joseph's Day feast patron of fathers she told everyone that she ran into it for the next year and a half. And I mean everyone. Oh, that is so funny. I just finished watching Widow on Amazon. Yeah, Pete, I've heard a lot about Widow. Hunky U.S. Marshal. Justified is about a hunky U.S. Marshal. They seem to post one frightening thing in the middle of each episode. I fast forward. I can't watch Mountain Rescues. Oh, on Northern Rescue? I know. New Amsterdam was intense, Lynn is saying. Last night, snowstorm in New York City. Ambulances couldn't get through. Yeah, I don't know if I want to watch that. 
Um, yeah. Uh, uh, why did she tell everybody that, Karen? Why did she tell everybody that he died on St. Joseph's Day? Was that like, a, were they Italian? Is that why she said that? All right, now my outer section. So my outer section, I am going with some purple, first of all. So I'm gonna use this purple and I'm gonna do dots. And then I'm gonna add some blue into this. And we're just gonna kind of see what happens to it. I don't know if it's gonna be a good idea. I don't know if it's gonna be a bad idea. Sometimes you just never know. Do people count the dots that they put on their pages? I know that Lisa and Lynn both use dots a lot. Do you guys count them? Be a good way for kids to learn how to count, don't you think? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Be kind of a cool thing to do with kids. You know, the closer you put the dots, the more it kind of creates uh, more of a blurry color. But then if you use something where you put dots further and further apart, it kind of gives it that like calico looking country feel, doesn't it? Dots, dot, do dot, sounds like candy. Yeah, really, I know, huh? Maybe I should watch New Amsterdam. Is it going to be too much like, heart, like too exciting for me though, Lynn? I don't want to watch something that's going to like, you know. I was watching, um, oh, Alexandria. Is Alexandria still here? I have to tell her something. I don't know if she's still here or not. But I finally figured out a way to watch Alaskan Bush People. YouTube. I don't know if she's still here. Um, and I found a couple other shows on YouTube that I could watch. Some of my favorites that I don't have on my regular TV. All right, so these are my dots. I'm gonna pull in some blue. This page is almost finished, right? And then um, before we leave again, I hope for those of you, a lot of people came in later. So I hope that it's okay if I go through my, um, my color palette book again. I wanna show the Kindle version. Do you guys wanna see that again? Or for those of you that maybe didn't see it at the beginning, would it be okay with everyone if I reviewed, if we took a look at that book again? I have my Kindle version of that book. Um, we can look at it on my iPad. Here's some blue. And now I'm just going to kind of add some blue into all of this. I can't believe all the shows that are on Netflix. Can you? Or Amazon Prime. Isn't it just amazing? Who's giving me an angry face? comments here. <clears throat> okay, I am going to go through that, that uh, Kindle book again then, Bonnie, Bonnie Miller. Um, as soon as I finish my, my blue dots. It's like I'm in a hurry to get them done. I'm just kind of on a rhythm. Sometimes you have to just get on a rhythm with these dots. Maybe think of a song, play a song, sing out loud. I don't know. You can admit it. We won't judge. If you're humming a tune or if you're dancing. Okay. This is a no angry face zone. Maybe someone hit it by accident. It's okay. I'm not offended. It's fine. Okay. So let's, um, this is finished. It's okay to not be okay. Hey, it's okay to be not be okay, right? If you don't have, if you're not having a good day, I don't know. Not, don't have a good day for like, do it for like five minutes. Just not have a good day for like five minutes. And then, um, 
it's okay to just not be okay. So let's take a look at uh, my new book. I'm so excited about this. I said it before, right? I'll say it again. Um, oh, a wood dowel. I can't wait to see that, Lisa, uh, Lynn. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Sarah wants to see the picture from Monday before she gets called to the doctor. Here it is. I'm not liking it, Sarah. I'm, it's not my best work. I will admit that I don't like it. I'm going to be my own worst, worst critic about it. You know? Okay, so here is uh, my color palette book. So I'm excited about this book for many, many reasons. First of all, um, my cover's a little bit different on Amazon, but just go with it. It's it's better. It's improved. Um, and then this one, here's my, my title page, Anne Manera's Colorist Color Palettes, a reference guide to picking colors for coloring pages. You can use uh, this book for... Um, Pick, for coloring pages, craft projects, home decorating projects, uh, <clears throat> matching your clothes if you need to. Um, you could definitely use it for different things. There's 30 color palettes, 56 color schemes throughout this book. Turn off this light because it's giving me kind of a, a glare. There's a color wheel. There's warm and cool colors charts, primary, secondary, complementary, and analogous color charts throughout here. Um, there's a color wheel in this book. This book is available. I'm going to just kind of flip through it. This book is available as a print version, and it's also available as a Kindle version. Uh, here is the start of the 56 color schemes, and they are uh, 56 of these little wheels that have six colors each, so you could kind of take a look. Um, and if they're, if it's looking like, um, hey, I don't, don't really know if I want to, if I really want to see what this one looks like, kind of put something over it and look at only one at a time. Um, and there's, so there's 56 of these circles that, that are shaped as, that are set up as pies, pie charts with different colors. And you can use maybe this color scheme together or this color scheme together, um, and just kind of play around with color in coloring pages, craft projects, uh, home decorating projects. I'm just really excited about this book because the Kindle version is only $4 and 99 cents and the paperback version, it's in a paperback version also in eight and a half by 11 inch book. And it is only $15.99 full color. I thought that the $15.99 price point was not possible. I thought I was going to have to go with a $30 book, which was bothering me a lot because I just think that's just too much money. Um, but I was able to do the $15.99. So that is really exciting. If you purchase the, um, the hard copy book, the paperback version, you will have the opportunity to purchase the Kindle version for only $1.99. So you would have both. So there is that option. And then it has 30 of these color palettes. So these color palettes began with uh, color palettes that I was including in my coloring membership packet every month for the past year, I guess, right? And then I decided to take some of those color palettes and turn them and put them as part of this book. And then I also created more color palettes. So what's unique about these color palettes in this book that is not like anything else out there that you'll see is that all of the color palettes include, um, here it is a little bit bigger, one of my own paintings. So this is an original painting. And then I took four different colors from that painting and pulled them out of that, out of that painting. So this would make a good color palette to use or a good color scheme to use, um, in any type of project that you're, uh, you are, Hey, thank you, Diana, any type of project that you are, uh, working on. So that's, what's neat about this book is that there's not, you see a lot of these on Pinterest where you see, um, stock photography where there's a photograph and then there's four or five colors there. And, um, you just, it, these are not like that at all. These are my own, uh, own, own artwork, either, either paintings or, uh, finished coloring pages. The other thing that is not included in this, because it's just really not necessary at this point is a lot of times you'll see these color palettes and you'll see a hex number. Um, or you'll see another set of numbers that go with that color. It's called RGB or CMYK. And unless you are using, um, for coloring purposes, it's not necessary. So I decided to not include the hex color or the RGB color or the CMY, CMYK color. And those are just the, col the numbers given to each color that's in the computer. We don't need that when it comes to a coloring page. You don't need that when it comes to matching your clothes. If you were a designer and you really needed to know that so you can match it in the computer, then that's when you, you would really need that. But I've seen a lot of questions on coloring groups asking, um, what are hex numbers with colors and why do I need them? You don't really need them at all. You don't need them when it comes to a coloring page. 
So the way this basically works is you take a look at these color palettes, you take a look at this family of colors or this combination of colors, and then take a look at your own coloring supplies and then pull out some colors that would match all of that. So for example, I've got some gel pens in front of me and I've got this gel pen, for example. Here's a pink gel pen that I'm gonna use for this burgundy color. And then maybe I'm gonna use uh, this color here that's kind of close to that color um, that's a pink color. And then I'm gonna pull in some green. Here's some green. It doesn't have to be the same shade. And then here's kind of a cream color. Well, maybe I'll just pull in a white gel pen. Um, or maybe I'll just kind of say, okay, well, here are my four colors, and these four colors are going to be for that particular palette. So you could do it with any coloring supply. You could do it with colored pencils. You could do it with uh, crayons. You could do it with gel pens, markers. Uh, you could do it with, with paint. It doesn't make a difference. So some of these are for my own paintings. This little bird is original painting by me. This one here also, uh, a painting that I've done. Um, here's another one. I call it the Red Shack. And here's a drawing that I did with colored pencil. Uh, this is from a coloring book. This is a finished page from a coloring book with um, with uh, colored pencil with uh, markers. I'm sorry, with markers. And I only pulled out those four colors. I didn't pull out five. I didn't pull out six. I didn't pull out three. You know, um, the best skin tone pens or pencils. Hey, Dawn has given you a great answer, Barb. The best one so far are Black Widow, Light and Dark. The other one too is I have a set of crayons that are called People Colors, and those are really cool too. But, you know, we're going to go over those skin tone pencils. I have both of the Black Widow sets. I just got them this past week. And I'm going to be going over those and taking a look at those and seeing what we can actually do with them. And they're skin tone pencils, but you don't really need the actual skin tone set in order to use. You're going to be able to find those colors throughout um, other sets. Because when you take a look at the color of skin, I mean, take a look at your own color of skin. It's not just a peach color. It's not just a, a brownish color. Um, there's just so many colors that are part of it. Uh, Lynn is saying that um, my Black Widow pencils arrived this week and the colors are great. They are really, really nice. Some people said they have a little bit of an odor. Um, open up the tin and let it air out for a little bit because I think that Scorpion pencils and Cobras were like that also. Bonnie's saying I have trouble matching my clothes. Um, yeah, and this is a great way to, to kind of just say what colors kind of go together. Maybe I want to wear brown pants with a pink shirt and add some blue. And those are the colors that kind of all go with that. Excuse me, so I just took out some prominent colors. Um, this is kind of a, a nice color scheme, taking that that red and that lavender color together and then even going with a darker purple and a blue. My little stylus pen is not working. They say they work, but I don't know about you, but mine don't work. This one is from uh, Cat Angels. So this book is really fun, um, a really nice book, a guide to have. And if you've got a budding artist um, in your family or... Um, you have someone that maybe just likes to look at it. The other thing is that so many people say to me, boy, I wish, really wish I could afford one of your paintings. Well, guess what? This book has my paintings. So this is a good way to say, well, look at this. I have her paintings in a book. Um, so I'm just, this is just excited about, I'm just excited about it. That's why I only wear black pants, Lynn is saying. Everything goes, me too. I wear black pants all the time. I wear black a lot. Um, black goes with everything. Can't go wrong with black. It's slimming, right? And then the other thing is that some of the, I was shopping online the other night and I was looking at, um, I don't even know what store I was looking at. I think it was maybe Old Navy. And I was looking at some of the clothes that were, they were featuring and I'm thinking to myself, who would wear this? You know, no wonder people have trouble or are looking like they're looking. I don't know. It was just like, I just could not even believe that that was um, what was out there. I just was not interested in any of them at all. So you know, you got to kind of wonder about what the designers are actually presenting to you and what is there to choose from, right? But if you just have black, then it's just kind of a classic look. So again, this is my uh, my color palette book, and I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I said it before. I'll say it again. Uh, take a look. It's on Amazon. My Kindle version is only $4.99. The paperback version is only $15.99. If you were to purchase the, fifth, the paperback version... You're on the fence. You can't decide. I want paperback. I want Kindle. You can actually uh, get the Kindle version for only $1.99 if you buy the paperback. It's also available on my, on my website. Someone asked about you uh, iBooks. I'm going to take a look into that and see how we can get that to happen. But it's also available um, on my website as a PDF. So I don't know if that would, uh, would be the answer to that problem or not. So that's it. That is today's call of along. Thanks so much for joining me today, everyone. This was a blast. And um, I'll see everyone back on Monday for the Andy Walker style 
uh, color along. And um, we're going to be going over Andy Warhol. For those of you that have the Color Along Volume 11 book, you'll be getting that PDF packet. Do you all, did you only use four colors for all the pictures? I did, Bonnie. I only used four colors for all the pictures only because I just didn't want to overwhelm anybody. I didn't want it to be um, too overwhelming. And the other part is that you could actually take two or three of those palettes and you could easily um, combine them and easily use. So if you wanted to have eight colors or you wanted to have 12 colors, you could take the colors. And on the screen right now, if the upper, on the upper left hand, in the left hand side of the screen, take a look at those three uh, palettes, then you can see them. So any other questions about the color palette book, just feel free to just get in touch with me. Message me. You can send me an email. Um, and have a great day, everyone. Enjoy this Wednesday. Talk to everyone soon.